Approval Beast here doing another install today. Today we're doing a subwoofer install on a 97 Honda Accord. With this install, we're gonna show you how to wire the amplifier with an amplifier kit that we've purchased on Amazon. Two 12 inch Pioneer subwoofers and a Pioneer amplifier. Today we're gonna to show you uh, first step, how to run the wire from the battery to the rear of the vehicle. We're gonna be mounting the amplifier in the trunk. So we will start there and show you from that point. All right, first thing here is we need firewall access running this big thick power wire from the battery to the amp on the passenger side of the vehicle and the kick area right up here on the left hand side. If you pull this carpet back and this little grommet here, there's a hole that goes right into the engine bay. What I've done here is this is the end of a hanger and I fished it through. And on this side here, I've hooked the wire to that hanger and taped it. The purpose of this is to fish the wire up and through. And the other end of this hanger came out here. You can kind of see that, there it goes down through that hole. So fishing it up through, it allows me to pull that power wire through the firewall up into the engine bay. And we're gonna make our way to the positive of the battery. All right, so we pulled our wire up through. Basically, we're gonna run it along here. We're gonna put our fuse, probably in that fuse right here, and then preparation for it to deposit the battery. All right, so after we fed it through, we just wired our fuse in here, zip tied everything, and down up, we're gonna go right to the positive of the battery. Soon as we're ready, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna continue inside the cabin of the vehicle, running that power wire to the trunk. All right, so, from that grommet, we've just tucked the wire up underneath this carpet, as you can see here. Back behind this right kick panel. And then these side kick panels just pop off with clips. And then you lift the carpet up and we can run. Cable all the way back. These just pop out just a tad. Continue to run the cable up underneath. And then from there, see this kind of pops. You just work it through up under the back seat. And it came right out here. Now this will plug right into the back of our amplifier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together this side of the vehicle. Next thing here, we're gonna run our ground wire and our RCAs and remote up to the radio. All right, for the ground here, just under the back seat, we got a seatbelt bolt. And we've undone that seatbelt bolt, exposing a nice, Nice little ground here. And when I've done this, I started cleaning off the paint. And we're gonna use that bolt and our ground wire here to make a good solid ground connection. All right. As you can see here, the paint is cleaned off between the seatbelt bracket and the, the chassis of the vehicle. Bolts back in, ran the cable up along with the power wire. So we got power and ground right to the rear here in the trunk. Next thing here is we're gonna run the RCAs from the trunk area up alongside the other vehicle to the front. So we can plug that to our aftermarket radio. So what I started doing is a set of RCAs, a remote turn on wire, and our base knob um, cable here. And you may or may not have this depending on your amplifier. But I've started taping them together about every foot or so for the whole length and this is going to run from the rear of the vehicle to the trunk area, down along the kick panel, and we're gonna work our way up to the center cavity by the radio. All right. So we got our power and ground hooked up. Our speaker outputs go to each side of the box, to each side. And our remote turn on the wire, as you can see, I kind of see it's right inside there, all kind of tucked away on this side of the amp. We got our RCAs plugged in and our uh, base knob cable. So, sub amp is all installed here at the back of the car. We just need to put the positive on the battery and um, hook up the RCAs and the remote turnout wire to our radio. And I've run the RCAs and all those up underneath. Very, very similar to the power wire along here. Now, it's Come out here, I still gotta tuck that away. And I tuck that way down below, up underneath the carpet. It'll come out right here. 
And next segment here, we're going to hurry and hook it up to the um, aftermarket radio. Currently installed, we have this Pioneer. All right, we got our positive back on the battery. When you do so, just remove the negative, add the positive on there, tighten it down, and then put the negative back on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the radio out. First thing here to get that radio out, remove this panel, and there's two screws there. This allows us to also pop this panel out, and there's going to be these screws here to remove, and then this will allow us to slide back the center console to expose two more screws and one up here, and then once that's removed, then we can get to the radio. Kind of a process. All right, once you remove these two screws, and that one, these ones actually can stay in. Just give it a good tug and this whole center console just comes back a few inches exposing this screw and that screw. Go ahead and remove those. All right, once you remove those two bottom screws, this whole panel just pops out all with clips. You may have to pull the gear shifter back. Once you pop that out, this um, your radio is going to be held on with two bolts there at the bottom. Go ahead and remove those and the radio comes free. Once you're there, from the last segment, we fed our wire up through here into the radio cavity. We got a remote turn on wire, our base knob cable, and our RCAs. All three cables here. We're going to go ahead and get those plugged. Alright, we'll plug our RCAs in here. And our remote turn on wire connects to the blue white wire, blue wire with a white stripe in the harness as we've done here. And then our base knob, we're gonna hook up to our little uh, knob itself, uh, the cable. And let's go ahead and get this all put back together in reverse order. All right, dash all back together. Everything is clean and good to go. We did a little test and it sounds great. Thanks again for watching the install. If you have any questions on what we did here in this install, go ahead and check the uh, description below. Uh, thanks for watching the channel and we will see you guys in the next video.